It's and the fantastic thing with this as well is that it actually follows you across the web. So say uh, you're logged in as a Nathan at Nathan Waters, uh, what you can actually do is wait for the train. Well, trade very well, but it, what you can do, it can follow you across uh, across websites and stuff. So you, if, you, if they're tracking, I'm pretty yeah, sure they would be. But they, well, they, they save it all into there, so that that'll all be saved under your Google account. You go and use someone else's yeah. computer, you just log into yours, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it'll totally change because, the um, thing onto yours. Because so your browser, not that any computer comes to your computer. Why yeah. not? Well, because to install an app, you actually have to be logged in. Google account. Yeah, so your so account puts it on your account. So you go to anyone's computer, you log into your computer. It's a universal login system, the same way how you used to have with Windows, you have different user accounts. Yeah. Now with the Chromium, you're going to be having you know well, actual. Do, do, do we mention this isn't Chrome OS? This is just in Chrome now. Yeah, this is that's, that's why it's so brilliant. Is because in in Chrome OS, the focus then becomes, hey, all those apps that you're installing right now are your apps. Like there's no desktop. It's no. the browser and these. Are your apps and then so your first screen that you load up it says here's your apps what do you want to use today hmm. it's, it's but then you can already use that now so they're kind of introducing it because because hmm. chrome os won't take off for another like year or two i don't think it won't kind of hit the mainstream no there'll probably be prototypes out like in the next few months yeah. i'm guessing but but see this is kind of forcing people to think hey hmm. rather than a, a website with just information i should sort of rework it into like it's like an app it is an app it's yeah it's like a desktop replacement it's the same thing I'm guessing I'll do a big advertising campaign. They're going to go crazy about educating people how to use this new system. But well, I guess it moves into that, which I guess approaches onto our singularity topic about yeah. the about the cloud, really, and everything web existing OS. totally in the cloud. Like, yeah, we've always spoken about the web OS, we've always spoken about not installing things on your computer, that <laughs> everything just becomes a portal into the machine, a portal into the cloud. And I think this is the very first implementation of it. Yeah. It's, that's done well. And I th yeah, I think they're doing it really well. Mm. Because it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to think of many things that can't be done in the cloud. Like, of course, system dependent software, say, for like, you know, running a nuclear power plant and all of that, you know, <laughs> probably, you know, still want your actual computers going there. But yeah. for most consumer based tasks, I, I, I find it difficult to think yeah. of. Well, there, there's, there's a challenge. Like, uh, in, in the comments, post us one, one program that you mm -hmm. would use on the desktop that there isn't any kind of web replacement, even like a beginning web replacement. Yeah, and you can't, games, like is the obvious one, there's stuff like on live, yeah. and then I mean, just look at all of the other web-based games, it, it's going to increase that way. Even, uh, like, even like Photoshop, like there are photo editing apps mm. already online. Sure, they're not up to standard yet, but that's still... Well, once we get the bandwidth yeah. with the actual, like say, intensive photo editing, you can do all the processing on their end and then just have it sent back yeah. to us. I mean, once we reach that threshold, I think there is a threshold there, that once we can actually stream directly uh, everything we need and all the processing's done just totally out, that's going to be a threshold that's going to be important, I think, because yeah. that's when any app can just be, you don't need to worry about processing speed anymore. It's the cloud's processing speed, yeah. and that's big. That's a massive trend, you massive comparing. Like, get rid of the base of this laptop, just have the screen. No, I still want to keep it. The, no, you just want a GPU with um, a wireless connection. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, a 4G connection. Well, yeah, I agree. The, the screen is pretty much all you need. Like, you still have your different input stuff and all of that. Maybe the connect. You have the web camera. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it's uh, everything in the cloud. Everything, every computer can be yours because you can log into any computer. Yeah. Any screen you can log into. There's not going to be like, you know, TV screens and all of that. It's just the screen to the machine. Yeah. And Chrome OS is... Screen. Go, there's, if, if you've got the time, there's an hour and a half, um, like, I'll call it like a keynote just to rip off Apple, um, where they introduce like... Uh, Chrome OS and what they're doing with it, and they literally have that same thing where like you just you can log in on any machine whatsoever yeah. you, with your login, and you get all your settings, all your apps, yeah. all everything. I love it. It's and and there's actually a really cool viral video too where they um they're like blah blah, blah I'm gonna try and write up like a um a friend's cat's missing, so I'm gonna make a poster. So he starts making a poster, exactly. and like halfway in or just a bit, little bit in, someone takes the computer away and fucks it up, like smashes it or burns it to death. <laughs> and then okay. they're like, and then they bring out a new one and he just logs in. Like, cause, cause the load up is instant. There's no BIOS in this. It's mm, instant fantastic. load up. You turn it on, boom, done. Yeah. And so he literally gets a new laptop, boom, done. He's open and keeps going cause it's all saved mm. in real time. Cause it's working on the web. And it does another few sentences and then they take the laptop away. <laughs> it does it about five times. And it's just always back there and saved. Yeah. And then he's like, blah, blah, blah. And then of course, another cool thing is you can print to any, and yeah, it, it makes it much, much easier. You just connect to a device that's right there because they'll be using the exact same thing. Yeah. They'll be connected, you know, to the it's web, to the Chrome. So, like, this is... It skips. If, if you guys want to catch onto a trend, this like, is that, is, trend. that is literally inevitable. It may not be Chrome OS that kicks, mm -hmm. like, that, that becomes the dominant My platform. money is behind it, but... Yeah, they, they're, they're the first guys. They're doing a fucking good mm -hmm. job at actually transitioning. Mm -hmm. But this is a trend that will... 
like cannot be stopped. No. This is where it has to go. Yeah, that this, this is it. Yeah, it's it's all this on is, this is something I'd put money behind. Yeah. If I oh, had I don't money. put hell. I, I'm putting my whole like you know future prediction, my like yeah. life behind that, saying this this is going to happen. This is it. It's it's just so perfect. It's it's how computers should be really. Without all yeah. this other like, why the hell do we have such a long startup time? Why isn't it's why isn't time. everything just recorded? And when I type stuff, why do I why isn't it there saved? Why do I lose documents? Yeah. Why isn't everything just right there? Why do I have weird file systems? Yeah. It, you you're reimagining what a computer can be, and that. It's what gets me really excited about about Chrome and the Chromium and the actual thing there. That it's totally imagining the glowing rectangle. Reimagine. Yeah, it's almost treating like the entire internet as that's your computer. That's your computer. You're the cloud. These are operating in the cloud. All this stuff's just a screen to access it. Oh yeah. Because all your stuff's processed out in the cloud. It's all you know. All your yeah. stuff stored out in the cloud. That's it. It's that's Kevin <laughs> Kelly again saying that every every glowing rectangle, every screen yeah. is a window into the cloud, and that's what it'll be. It'll same with the TV and all of that. There'll be a different front interface for it for all the different things, but they'll all be doing the same thing. Yeah. Like why? Uh, you know, like the examples, we already do it now, like, you know, with Twitter and Facebook, we're all just accessing servers over somewhere. You do that with everything. You just start accessing, accessing servers. Yeah. It's good for What's the other, what's the other thing? Um, oh, I, I had this one, it kind of links in a bit with um, the semantic web as well. Mm -hmm. Because the, the thought was that um, if they convince people that, hey, you know, web apps are the way of the future, um, you're going to get, you're going to start people, you're going to have, you're going to have people starting to want to actually transfer their data between different apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for example, say you have a uh, some kind of word processing app that might be Office, it might be Google Docs, it might mm. be Rightly or some other weird thing. Um, so. if, if you're sick of that app, you still want to be able to use your document on any other word processing yeah. thing. And you just want to be able to grab it. So that, that forces um, kind of like a data standard that people have to adhere to because otherwise people are going to get yeah. pissed off. If you don't adhere, if I can't take my Word pro, my Word document out of, you know, Google Docs and play it, like, or well, run it exactly in anywhere same, else, yeah. Anywhere else like, on the web, me then I'm going to be pissed. So mm. this may open up an opportunity for people, for the semantic web because they'll be like, hey, you know, you should structure your data in this certain way, this... It, well, whoever, whoever actually gets that structure, whatever format, yeah. So long as there's a standard format for yeah, everything, and then there'll be wars for that then, standard because people will want to be the ones to yeah, actually have it. Well, whoever's the best do at doing the standard, yeah, well, whatever it. the best standard is, will become the standard. One thing I'd like to quickly touch on before we finish is the idea of uh, login wars. I think that, um, <laughs> login, login wars. wars. I mean what it. What does that mean? Uh, like, the the universal login, so to speak. Uh, since at the moment we've got Google and Facebook, which are the two big ones, uh -huh. the big oh, logins, yeah. because you're having all of your files in the cloud and all saved there. We're saying transfer between all the things. Yeah. Imagine it's like bring in your thing now. Is it going to be all your files saved on Google or is it all the stuff going to be saved on Facebook? That's or, an interesting. Which is a, yeah. Point. I I don't really know where that where that goes. I haven't considered Holy it too much, but. That's a big thing because whoever owns that owns you. I have really well. Whoever your algorithm they own how you in interact with all those programs. So go and post singularity here. That's you impacting with it. They see how you use all of your it's different your things. entire algorithm. Your entire algorithm. That's you it. as an algorithm. And since yeah. all computers will be everywhere, you've got the heads up display. You've got your phone. You've got this. Whoever controls all of that data <laughs> that's going there, they own you. That's the algorithm. They right. have you. And that now I'm hoping it's shared, but we can't know. But there is going to be a, a big. Thing over this, and I think it's Facebook and Google. I think that that's the writing on yeah. the wall. I'm not sure. Well, if if Chrome OS does become the standard Web OS, then I hey, say I say, then, yeah. I say Google will win that war. Yeah, well, I think Google's got the upper it's... hand with that. But then again, you do have Facebook Connect, and you do have all of that there. That maybe if they do a rethink with yeah. Facebook and they come out with their own browser, or they come out with a competitor to it, yeah, because they have to be a competitor for this. Yeah, we've been talking about a Facebook browser. Yeah, and it might be, it might be Safari, it might be Apple. They could toss their hat in the ring, but I don't know. Imagine a Facebook browser and instead of apps, they're just Facebook apps. Yeah, I mean, why not? So website, yeah, Facebook they, apps. they do it on, um, they do it all through socially stuff, which is a possibility. Which yeah, it's a big thing. Well, the other interesting thing we, uh, interesting thing we didn't mention was that the. Uh, Chrome Web Store, you can actually buy apps. Yes. People are charging for apps which are websites. Yeah. They're just <laughs> freaking websites. No, flash games too, they're the popular ones. So pay yeah. for a flash game rather than going to congregate, you know. Smart. Because people naturally do that on an iPhone, you'll, you'll pay for a game. Oh yes, that's an easy. Game. But if if they're websites, why, who the hell would pay to access a website? Well, a lot of people apparently. This is something I'm going to try out. going to make a few like little quick things, see what happens. Yeah. Be the same app war, app <laughs> race that used to happen with the iPhone, except now you can have your Flash games and get paid for them too. Well, we've also said that um, 
also, uh, the Chrome Web Store thing, they really, really haven't tried to push this at all. No, they, they will, though. I, they're, I, I they're, guarantee you when they release the laptop. Yeah, but I think they're very, being very subtle about it. Like, yeah. um, to actually install an app, there's no... I think even the latest version of Chrome, there's no button saying, go to the Web Store. You have to actually go to their physical URL. It's still in beta. And then it... Yeah. They haven't released it, but uh, once they're happy with it, like, they've sent out the laptops, there have been a few things there, but they're crappy laptops. It's nothing special, they're just bugging it. Yeah. But uh, when they, they do the big they release... They don't care about hardware. No, when they do the big release, it's going to be going to be incredible. But, uh, yeah. What else we got? Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. The Red Bus will rule. It will. Get behind it. Yeah. That's the trend of the future. This is the big thing. And uh, Please, I'm sick of the, the desktop. Well, it, it is. It's reimagining the computer. Think about all the stuff that you don't need in the computer anymore and get rid of it. All of it. Just give me the browser. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. It'll be interesting to see what Microsoft does. Yeah. Well, Steve Barmer sold off tons of uh, shares, so I think that's a pretty good indication. I hope he gets out. <laughs> He's an anchor on that company. Indeed. Oh, well. We'll uh, catch you next week. This yep. has been High 45. I'm Tristan Gross. I'm Nathan Waters. I had to think about that for a while. I'll uh, catch you next week. <laughs> so, it's in the cloud. You're, you're it's a, yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> right. Hey, welcome to High 45. <laughs> 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 <laughs>